Hello and welcome back to Kiwi in Malaysia. In today's episode, what a mess. It's a good job. Well, let's try that again. Welcome back to Kiwi in Malaysia. In today's episode, we are going to be learning everything you need to know about durian. But before I get into it, I'll let Dr. Snobs give you some facts. Yes, well, thank you. The Durio Zabethanus, or what lowly commoners like to call the king of fruit, is part of a Durio family with only six of its 26 species being edible. It is a tropical fruit found in Southeast Asia, consisting of a thorned husk encapsulating fleshly golden seeds. Its reputation of having a notorious smell precedes itself and was first described by the plant explorer Otis W. Barrett as a combination of cheese, decayed onion, and turpentine, closed quote. They can have anywhere between 885 to 1,500 calories, depending on its size, and thus must be consumed with moderation. Thank you, Dr. Snobs. Uh, I love acronyms, so today we're gonna learn that the durian is dangerous, unique, rank, infamous, assorted, and nice, or nasty. So let's get started. The durian is dangerous. I actually have part of a durian here with me. And this is a this is a small one, by the way. They're usually twice the size and quite big. And as you'll see, it is very spiky. The husk is quite painful. You wouldn't want to squeeze it. You wouldn't want to juggle it. You wouldn't want to put it in your kid's school lunchbox. When a durian is ripe, it will fall from the tree. It will let you know. And trust me, when it falls, you do not want to be underneath it. It's dangerous because it obviously has fallen on people and injured them quite badly. But now we move on to you, unique. There is nothing like the durian. It's got the, the appearance and the seeds kind of look like jackfruit, but it doesn't have that creamy sort of texture. So you've got something like, uh, I, I think of an avocado. It's got that creaminess, but the avocado... Uh, doesn't have the same flavor. The durian is a hundred times stronger in flavor and in smell. So if I had to give a description uh, of the durian to a Westerner, I would say it is a bunch of small yellow toffee flavored avocados all bundled together in a pufferfish husk that smells like the liquid at the bottom of a rubbish bag. And that carries us over to R, rank. Durians are really, really smelly. People say that the smell is to attract animals to be able to take it and pollinate it. Turns out it attracts Malaysians as well. The smell is due to the sulfur gene, which is on steroids with durian, uh, leading the Germans to call durian Stinkfrucht. And because of this, you'll go to lots of different hotels or conference rooms in Southeast Asia and they will say, no smoking and no durian. So let's go to I, infamous. It is infamous because it is so rank. The durian has made its way into many news stories. Because of the smell, people who don't know what durian is think that it is uh, it is a gas leak, that it's fumes. Lots of trains, lots of buses, lots of hotels have been evacuated because of a durian. <laughs> There's lots of different news stories about the durian uh, causing disruption, but I'll share the most recent story I heard on the news. A pungent smelling package triggered a major operation involving police, fire, and emergency rescue services in Bavaria, Germany, here on Saturday, June the 20th. It was soon discovered to be containing durian from Thailand. The authorities had responded to a call by Dutch Post employees who said they felt unwell after breathing what they thought were fumes. After 60 people were evacuated from the postal facility, 12 postal workers received medical support due to nausea, and with six taken to hospital as a precaution. And a assorted. Six of 26 species of durio are edible, and I think Malaysia only has one species, but has around 100 different types. I've just got a few here, so we've got uh, ranging from sweet to bitter. Red prawn apparently is a sweet one. You've got the D24 Sultan, which is a, a bittersweet, creamy flavor. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you've got the Black Thorn, which is, uh, it says here, intense bitter. Depending on what type you buy, or if it's a kampung, a village durian, you can pay between $10 to $100 per kg. Super expensive for a fruit. 
And that's how much is, uh, durian is loved here in Malaysia. Last but not least, we have N for nice or nasty. Or as Malaysians would say, nice or not. Because of its intense flavor, because it is so strong, there is no neutral response. Uh, when you taste it, you either love it or you hate it. There's a, a video on YouTube which is quite funny. Uh, it has, I think it's a hundred responses to trying durian for the first time. So it's these people trying it and you get a range of answers. You have people saying it tastes like rotten cheese, like a bitter mango, like old diaper, all these different answers. So the durian is polarizing. So even Malaysians, not every Malaysian likes durian and those people kind of stay on the down low because they're not real of Malaysians apparently. I'm in group A, right? Group A, people love the durian and then there's group B who can't stand it. They get the smell, they feel nauseous. Thankfully, I'm in group A, just like my wife. We both love durian, but not every Malaysian couple is, uh, let's say, as compatible. So there you have it, Durian 101. You've hopefully learned today that the durian is dangerous, it is unique, it is rank, it is infamous, it is assorted, and it is nice or nasty depending on your taste buds. So I'm actually going to write a song uh, about the durian and I want you to help me. I want you to write uh, anything that I've missed out about the durian. Write it in the comments below. Correct me if I've said anything wrong and share any stories about the durian. Now you might have been wondering, why isn't he gonna try any? Well. I actually brought the husk home and a seed. That's a nice big one. This is from an XO. Oh, you'll see um, it's, it's covered in flesh and this is the creaminess I was telling you about. Mm. Yeah, for me, it is nice. And I better eat it before my wife finds out. Oh no, don't, don't worry honey, I just farted. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.